Really quickly before we start today's video, we want to give a special shout out to our VIP patrons over on Patreon. Yes, sir. You all support us at the highest tier possible, and we thank you so much. All right. Okay. Today we are back with another high Q reaction. We learned how to pronounce it. High Q. High Q instead like, of haiku. Yeah, like IQ. High Q. High Q. Uh, and I am so ready. I've been waiting, man. This show has a certain way of sucking you in. Yeah. So I am ready as well, brother. Yeah. Uh, from the moment we began this anime journey, Jordan, it's been tough uh, because we have had to wait a few days in between each reaction. <laughs> yeah. We just literally can't record enough. So the anime scratch or itch is real. Yes, sir. So, Jared, we watched episode one we watched episode two yeah and we had a lot of questions we had a few misunderstandings of certain things so we asked our patrons for a little bit of help and you all came through yes so jared first of all as you mentioned the show was pronounced high q yeah simple high q going forward secondly the main character's name is Hanada Shoyo. Yeah. So I think what we heard most in the first two episodes were either Shoyo or Shochan. Yeah. Um, and the people tell us that his first name is Shoyo and his last name or his family name is Hanada. Yep. And that his friends call him Shochan as a nickname, but that we going forward can call him Hanada. 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 I sort of like Shoyo, though. I like Shoyo, he, too. He feels like a friend already. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shoyo. Yeah. I mean, I think we can we can use whatever we want. Yeah. So either Hanada or Shoyo, but All right. yeah. And then they also told us that uh, family names are used more often unless the two are very close. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then uh, our wonderful patrons also informed us that the yellow number <laughs> in the middle of the scoreboard is the set number yeah. in volleyball. Uh, and we were really confused about that because it seemed like the score just kept increasing. And that most matches have three sets. The first to score 25 points wins a set. And most matches have three sets. Uh, the first to score 25 points wins a set. And you have to win two sets in order to win the match. Yeah, uh, And I believe uh, you have to win by two, right? So if it's tied at 24 and one team gets to 25, you have to get to 26. So I pretty self-explanatory. Um, Reminds me of tennis in a way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I didn't realize that there were only three sets in a volleyball match. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it went to like 10 sets. Yeah. That's short. It, it sounds short. I think, if I remember correctly, Hanada was saying how the match against um, Kageyama yeah. in junior high lasted only like 31 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Right, the entire match. Because so, they killed him. Yeah. Yeah. So the next thing that people let us know, and we were wondering this, Jared, yeah. was that the little giant was the player at Karasuno who won, I don't know if they won the national title. They He made it to the national title with Karasuno High School. Yeah. And he was the one who Hanada saw on the TV. Yeah. Like three to four years ago. And the one who inspired him to play volleyball. Yes, sir. His idol at Karasuno. Yeah. So that's who the little giant is. Yep. Uh, and then we also learned that high school in Japan is three years uh, as well as junior high. So basically, if you are. Uh, in your first year of high school in Japan, you're basically a sophomore in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then junior would be second year. Senior would be third year. And uh, they also told us, Jerry, that the captain's name is... What is that? How you pronounce that? Is it Daichi? Daichi or Daichi. Daichi. And that he's a third year. The buzz cut player, his name is Tanaka. Yeah. He's a second year. And the nice gray hair player is Sugar. Sugar. Reminds us of someone, <laughs> doesn't it, Jared? Yeah. And he's a third year. 
Uh, and they also told us that Shoyo and Kageyama, as well as two other players, are first years. Yeah, that makes so much more sense now. <laughs> I know. Right? Because I almost looked at Kageyama and Daichi as if they were on the same level or mm. like the same age. I mean, that's the that's the sort of presence that Kageyama gives off. Yeah, yeah. Right? He seems a lot older than he is. Yeah. And it's surprising that Shoyo and Kageyama are the same age. <laughs> yeah. Right? Shoyo gives off the impression of being much younger. Yeah. People come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> all right. And then the last thing that people informed us of was that upperclassmen are referred to as senpai out of respect and that sensei is teacher yes sir so we will do our very best to remember all of this information but please please forgive us if we forget sure the people are here yeah for our journey brother yeah they're right here if we forget anything yeah i feel like by the time we get to like season two this will be ingrained yeah within us yeah all right so before we jump in to this next episode, Jared, the people asked us a few questions. Yes. So we're going to try to provide you with a few answers. So Prin asked us, number one, what are your thoughts on Hanada and Kageyama challenging the upperclassmen to a match? Hmm. Was it a good idea or too rash slash egotistic? And what would you have done in their place under those circumstances? Whew. And with that, yeah, we, we end up we end up talking <laughs> far too long. Uh, we apologize yeah. for our monotonous voices, and if any of you are annoyed at our long rambles, but we we love reviewing an episode and reviewing yeah. your questions. So please keep sending them in. Sorry. Jim. And feel free to skip over these discussion questions and go <laughs> yeah. straight to the reaction if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's click play on episode three. Uh, what is the title of this episode? The Formidable Ally. The Formidable Ally. All right. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Oi, I'm <laughs> ずっと練習部だけ。時間なくなっちゃうじゃんか。スパイクも打ちたい。ジャンプしたい。ところで晴れてろ。おい、お前ら。一つ言っておく。大地さんは普段優しいけど、怒ると数ごく怖い。数
Watch him do it, you just won. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. Is you one chance? Tossing and attacking happens only if there's a reception. Which you're too slow to even do, so don't talk cocky. Ah, uh, ooh. I don't know if that's the best strategy, dude. I think it is. Why? Ooh. Ooh. Tough love, Jor. Tough love. They're the same... Same age. Listen, I still see Kageyama as more of a of a leader though and, and i think kakeyama will by doing this teach hanada to be a team player yeah right and I, I don't know i think i agree but i feel like he already acknowledged hanada's skills and his ability to jump yeah they could put that to use on saturday no yeah yeah true I know that Hanada is maybe newer to the game than Kageyama is. Yeah. But nonetheless, this man can jump out the gym. Yeah. Put him, set it up for him, man. Yeah, true. But I, I see where he's coming from. Yeah, that makes sense. Is that Tanaka? I think it is. Hinata, Moto Kosho Toste, Tondekita Hokoni, Sono Mama Modos Kanji at Dina. Hi, I like this guy right here. Yeah, Sugar's good. He's nice. Nah, Hinata. Oh, Astano Sakara, Oregato Sagataka. Oh, hold up. Oh, あ、はい。俺、スパイク大好きで決まり<笑><笑> Mm, it's a big moment for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah。来たんですけど。だから俺もセッターだっては上げてやるって。ああ。いや、でもここで菅原さんに上げてもらったら <laughs> なんかま、負けた気がするっていうか。ひなたはなんでそんなに影山に張り合うの俺ならできるだけ強いやつと争いたくないけどな。ま、ひみはだ。影山の。いや、フィルライクヒロスト。オーバーダ。アイドンノー
影山は何をやってもうまくて、うん、背も俺よりずっとでかくてとにかく強くて目の前に立たれるのすっげえ嫌でしたわかる気がする、うん、だからその影山を倒してやろうと思ってカラスのに来たんだけど、うん、じゃあひなたはさ Wait, that's him, right? 影山を倒したくてバレエやるのえっえっとこいつ昼休みは<笑>影山を倒せるくらい強くなりたいんです。I don't mean to keep pausing here, but what does that remind you of, brother? Us? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jerry, man. We use, I, I used to look down from my window and see you working out and practicing, and I went straight to grab a ball or grab a weight. <laughs> Listen. It got vicious, man. It got like super competitive. I remember there were times where we would, like, one of us would. Be outside, the other one would be getting ready to relax, <laughs> right? Get some food, get in front of the TV. Yeah, and the moment we hear that ball bouncing outside,、uh, it's like <sighs> meal ruined, no relaxation. As soon as I finish this food, I'm going across the street to the park. F you, I still have nightmares from that, <laughs> but it made us better. Yeah, it made us so much better. 影山を倒したくてバレエやるのえっえっとこいつ昼休みをやってんのか影山を倒せるくらい強くなりたいんです、うん、そうすればもっといろんな強い相手とも互角に戦えるし試合で簡単に負けたりしない俺もう負けたくないですうんつまり今んとこひなたの中で同年代最強の位置づけにあるのが影山ってことか He can say it, just say it. <laughs> Look, and Kageyama's gonna hear that. Yeah.、Mm. That's the title. Sugar with the wisdom, man.、Yeah. He's a mediator. Yeah. Did he miss practice? Did he? Uh oh. Is he stretching or having an anxiety attack? I think he's stretching. <laughs> oh, that's Kageyama. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, was that everyone else practicing because these two aren't allowed? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, they're not allowed until they win. After Saturday. Yeah. If they win. Yeah. They'll be able to practice if they win. Right? Hopefully. Okay. Halfway through? Yeah. Almost, maybe. They're trying to hit the water bottle? Oh, wow. Oh. Name so the law, Omara. Eh, so so. Benkyono, she's gonna. Oremo, Benkyono. Why did I get this? I don't know. Stretch us. Oh, Kitaga. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. They look tall. Yeah. Why are they shocked? I, I don't know. Why are they shocked? I don't know. Why are they shocked? I don't know. <laughs> so they have something to work together on. Exactly. 
Kageyama. Yeah. I feel like Kageyama has to get his stuff together more so than I agree. Hanada. Yeah. If Kageyama just shows a little bit of what Sugar showed Hanada, yeah. Uh yeah. They'll be ready, Jerd. They will be ready for Saturday. Yeah, because they both have something to lose. Right? For Kageyama, the center position is everything. Yeah. And the only thing standing in the way of that is getting on the same page with Shoyu. Yeah. Because it seems like they have the talent, yep, right, to win. It's literally just the stubbornness of their egos. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully they can get it together. Ah, uh, so he said, yeah, there's something I don't like about those newbie first years. おお。土曜の試合大丈夫か大丈夫ですよ。俺だって入るんすから。そうだな。鍵山もいるしな。うん。でもさ、鍵山って何か中学の時より大人しくない<笑> Into the night, man. Yeah. Who that? Oh, those are the two first years, right? They're huge, yeah. So I was wrong, brother. <laughs> ジマンすんの山口。ああ。<笑> こっちにとっては別にって感じなんだよね。勝敗にこだわりないし。君らが勝たないと困るなら。って抜いてあげようか。なんだ。おう。てめえが手の甲が全力出そうか。俺が勝つのに変わりねえんだよ。俺たちだ
Oh, this guy's unfazed, Jared. <laughs> He's unfazed. This guy's so passive aggressive. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. I don't like him. Yeah. They're going to beat them. Yeah. That's one thing I know. This guy, Jarn, he is doing what we used to do as well to each other. Get underneath each other's skin. Right? In the most passive aggressive way possible. Right? Just keep a positive attitude. It means nothing to me. Yeah. It means nothing to me. Oh boy. This guy didn't say but a couple words. This other yeah. Guy. Yeah, very interesting. The characters on this team so far, Jordan. Yeah. And this guy, Tuski, or we'll learn his name, but he's a first year. Yeah. He's the same age as Hanada and Yagiyama. Yeah. Right? He's taller than both of them. Yeah. Almost taller than both of them put together. Yeah. I have a feeling that after this little spout, mm -hmm. Hanada and Kageyama are going to pull through. Because look, Jared, what just happened here? Hanada stood up for Kageyama. Yeah. I feel like Kageyama saw that, recognized it, and now it's time to work together. All right, let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's get there. No, we don't even need to get their names <laughs> until they start being a little respectful. <laughs> and he called him the king again. They're gonna demolish that man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yes. Are you gonna finally yes. toss him the ball? You get on my nerves, buddy. <laughs> shrimp, the king and the shrimp. Okay. Shrimp scan. Yeah. Now I'm rooting for uh, Kageyama. Yeah. Sure. Right. I don't like that guy. No, this guy, he's got to stick up his ass. I mean, the point here was about coming together as a team. Yeah. And this guy comes in and who knows what his, his issue is. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he's angry, man. Hey, <laughs> he's angry. Yeah. He's got to find a way to lower his emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a technique. Maybe the big guy inadvertently or advertently brought Kageyama and Hanada together. Right? Ooh. Maybe it was a team building exercise. <laughs> oh, maybe Daichi yeah. organized Sent it. him out. Yeah. yeah.
practice, practice, practice. Yeah. And right here, Jared, when we see him on his bike, mm -hmm. in the last episode, he told us that it takes him 30 minutes to get from his house to the school. Oh. So every single day he's riding his bike. Wow. 30 minutes. Each way? Each way. Wow. And one of our patrons said something like, I, I don't think I could ride 30 minutes each way. My calves would be <laughs> killing me. Yeah. But that's just a testament to his, oh, yeah. his willpower, man, and how wow. much he wants to be on this team. Oh, and he's so tired. tired. Yeah. They all look tired in class. Yeah. Even the upperclassmen. Oh, yeah. He's it's tough for him. At least they're doing it. Yes. They're through rain, through whatever. Sugar. It's Sugar the coach. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. Ooh. The practice has paid off. Don't go easy on him, says Jerry. <laughs> Come on. Uh -oh. This guy. This Tanaka, right? Yeah. <laughs> They better work in Tanaka. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Wait, what do you say? His great physical abilities make up for his unskillful clumsiness. Okay. Yeah, that's an interesting way to put it. Let's go. Look at his, his arms are getting red. Arms. Oh, That's he's right. a beast. He's... Oh, you gotta go get it. He's gonna run. He's okay. gonna run. Oh, yeah, he's gonna run, Jared. Come on. Just like he did in that tournament. Has the fortitude to become a winner. Yeah. He's got heart. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, there. Ooh. Turbo. Oh! Oh, yeah. There you go, Jor. There you go. Oh, now, what did he say? He said, I don't think. Well, that, that's a full oh, flashback, I believe. Now he knows he's essential to winning. Perfect. Uh oh. He set it up. Set it up. Go get it, boy. Oh, he's too worn out. Look, he's going to get it. All right, he'll get it. That ball stays in the air for a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> oh! Elation. <laughs> mm. Oh, what do you mean by that? They weren't really teammates. Ooh. 
Wow. He gulped. Uh -oh. He can't even get it out. Wait, wait, wait. Did he throw what? Oh. From exhaustion and oh, overworking. Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Is he running home? Now he's got to... Exactly. Oh, is today the day? Oh, okay, so it's Saturday. Yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> They're racing each other, Jared. Jared, that's us, man. <laughs> everything we do. Everything we used to do. <sighs> Yes. Uh oh. Look, it's not going to phase him. <laughs> he was thinking that, right? I, I thought he was thinking, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man, what a great episode. That's they came a, together, Jar. And that's all you can ask for. Yeah. I mean, episode three, seeing that there were 89 episodes, I did not think it would happen this quickly. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Do you, you think they're going to win, right? Uh, I'm hoping, yeah. and I truly do think they're going to win. Uh, now seeing the work that they put in and the trust that they've built, yeah. even if it's just that little 2% of trust, they have a long way to go. But a lot happened in this episode to build that trust. And I feel like Saturday they are going to come through. Yeah. And it appears that one word makes them both get on the same page or makes them both perk up. Mm -hmm. And that's win. Oh, I thought you were going to say king. Well, that too. That too. But yeah. win. Like when uh, Kageyama said, we're going to win. It's like, oh, we. We're going to win. You know, and then Shoyo or Hanada said, we're going to win. Yeah. We're going to win. They both feed each other's yearning for winning and getting better. Mm. Jared, man, I think we're going to sound like broken records by the yeah. end of this, but yeah. they are us <sighs> growing up. We would race everywhere we go. Yeah. To the car. Because getting the front seat <laughs> was the most important thing in the world uh -huh. to us. We already talked about our experiences working out or playing basketball. Yeah. One does it, the other has to. Who gets to the microwave first? Who gets in the kitchen first? Oh my goodness. Everything. It's still like that in a yeah. way, man. This show can teach kids. It can teach adults. I know it's not necessarily made for kids, but it can teach adults a lot of things. And I know it's teaching oh, yeah. us the power of working together mm -hmm. instead of trying to go at things alone. Yeah. Even though, Joe, we're seeing how difficult it is to come together with somebody who does the same thing as you, mm -hmm. who may even be a little better than you at certain things they play different positions but just or seeing their egos collide and it's not, it's not a clean process yeah. to work through that yeah i value that in this show that they're showing us yeah that process because it's real man that's yeah. reality beautifully put right this is a show about brotherhood yeah right at least from our perspective this is a show about brotherhood Hanada and Yagiyama, by the end of this, I am predicting they will be bonded, oh, man. molded together. Oh. Right? Nothing will be able to stop them. Absolutely. All right, Jared, one final thing before we move on to the next episode. Yeah. Because we are watching 
the next episode right away today. Uh, we saw images in this episode of mountains. Yeah. We saw, it's hard to pay attention to everything, but when um, Hinata was standing yep. on the hill and there was just the mountain ranges and we've seen crows. Yes. In the previous three episodes. One of our patrons, Beryl, left us a few comments, Jared. And Beryl told us that Karasuno translates to the crow of. Yeah. As in their school literally means school of crows. Hence all the crow references. And Car uh, Beryl also wrote, if Light Yagami goes to this school, does it become murder of <laughs> It's oh, a little uh, Death Note reference. Yeah. Um, and then Barrow also wrote, Kageyama means shadow mountain, and Shoyo means small sun. And together, they can create a breathtaking scene of a sun rising above the mountain. That is ridiculous. That is poetry right there. That is ridiculous. That's poetry, brother. And that's what we saw in this episode, the beginning of that sun rising above the mountain. Oh, that's very powerful. Um, and I'm going to take Beryl for their word. Yeah. Right. Do you think that the writers did that intentionally? That has to be, right? That is 150%. If this is, is the case. That is incredible. If Beryl is telling the absolute truth, it's, it's incredible. Wow. Poetic. Oh, boy. So, wow. Yeah. The power of the Japanese language, the power of, uh, what do we call it? A metaphor? Uh, what do we call that? I don't know. Wow. Character building as well in the yeah. show. Okay. Yeah. All righty. So that was episode number three. We understand why it was titled The Formidable Ally, because they are no longer enemies. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think uh, about this episode? Do you think, if you haven't watched the show, that they're going to win? Yeah. Hanada and Kageyama and Tanaka. Uh, let us know, everybody. And also send in your questions. Send us your questions here on Patreon. We will see you again real soon. We love you so much. Do not forget. Be kind. And keep an open mind, everybody. Peace. Peace.